relevant. And there are a lot of people who, uh, who supported a lot of the actions in both Afghanistan and Iraq who are now saying that uh, the threat posed by al-Qaeda itself uh, has been degraded to such a point that it no longer makes sense to approach this struggle in military terms. Mm -hmm. um, do you agree with that? And if so, uh, how should we go about thinking about this threat that we are facing from uh, al-Qaeda and other organizations I like am, I am very happy about your questions, because that is the core of the, of the questions. The, the use of the military in order to counter an organization like Al-Qaeda, it's absolutely misleading or even a mistake. The, we have, unfortunately, the experience of, of uh, countering terrorists. We discovered terrorism in Algeria, terrorism on a relatively large scale and in an urban area. The reference was the Battle of Algiers. When you rediscover, when you restudy that, and go back to the booklet of, uh, of Colonel Trinquier, it's uh, amazing to see the parallel between, between the technique used. And in order to use, to, to fight, or to destroy an organization like that, it's not the military which is useful. It's police technique. It's infiltration. It's, uh, it's the way, and we had examples, and good examples. We, we were successful in, successful in, uh, in uh, destroying the, the organization of, uh, of, uh, of, the, of the bombing, uh, blind, blind bombing in Algiers in 1957. But we have forgotten again that. Now, uh, after, after the Algeria war, between 1970 and, uh, and today, we have been struck plenty of time by terrorist organizations. FPLP, uh, Carlos de Jackal, uh, Iran, uh, Shapur Bakhtiar assassinations, uh, the Algeria GIA, uh, the, et cetera, et cetera. I can. I have a long list of that. The only efficiency is to have the appropriate legal support. The answer is, the first answer is there. You need to have the legal capacity in our democracies. That took a long time in France before having this kind of capacity. It has been necessary to wait until 1986 uh, in order to have a special law adapted, and a special organization adapted to counterterrorism. That means in our legal system, and probably yours, we had only the capacity to intervene and to stop terrorists only after the moment when you had enough evidence in front of a court that you have a beginning of execution. You may imagine that. A beginning of execution. Now, as soon as now, we have for centralized uh, jurisdiction. That you say a group of judges taking care only on terrorist actions with competency which is not local but global all over French citizens, all over the world. And we have now special services which have the same capacities. And a direct linkage between these judges and these special police. The famous name or the, the, of, of which is, uh, is uh, that probably you know, is Judge Bruguière, who had arrested Jackal, uh, who is a personal friend of mine, and uh, with whom uh, so I have special relations and we discuss a lot. So countering terrorism by the armed forces, it's a stupidity. We can, the, the armed forces can provide something. They can bring a certain number of, of, uh, 
of intelligence capacities or observing observation tools. But thinking of the fact that we will use the military in order to destroy a network who, whose survival is directly dependent of his discretion, you cannot use an army to, to fight. It's a secret war. We need to use CIA. We need to use FBI. But we need, but I am back to my initial answer. What you need first, it's a special legal system giving, giving you enough uh, efficiency with the blessing of the parliament and the blessing of a democracy in order to fight, uh, permitting to arrest terrorists before they took actions, permitting them to, to put them in, in custody before being confronted with a, with a barrister or whatever, in order to protect or, and to put them secretly in order to, to kill the network. And that also, it was already lesson learned from the Battle of Algiers. For instance, at that time, we had no, uh, no um, telephone, cell phone. How was, how the, the messages, the report, the execution were passing by? It was only with children, young ladies, and it was absolutely compartmented. When you arrest one guy, he knew only his superior and his two or three subordinate maximum because the initial cell was only three people maximum. And it was this kind of cancer which is difficult to destroy or to, or to, 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 to fight against. But that also is clearly explained in the booklet of Trinquier. And when you, you, you rediscover that, you think, my goodness, are we able to learn lessons from history? I made that comparison to your authorities. I repeated that six times. Last time it was in February in, in Fort Leavenworth, where I've been reinvited. <laughs> That's what they listen this time. So um, uh, why don't we open it up for uh, questions from you and uh, again if you can uh, identify yourself uh, when you ask your question and and keep them relatively brief please thank you general for a remarkable uh, presentation but coming back to algeria uh, you you were mentioning there has been a second civil war in algeria which has been awful i think they talk about 200,000 deaths among the civilian population so my question is do you think the Algerian army won this one? And if they did, how do you explain that? Who won the war? Did the Algerian army won that second civil no. war? We don't hear about it much anymore. It was not. And, and if they won, how do you explain that they won that particular war? It was not the Algerian army who won the war. The, the Algerian army was carefully uh, garrisoned in Tunisia and Morocco and were unable to penetrate in, in Algeria. Uh, at, since uh, 1958, the two barrages that we built on both sides of the border were at the stop, uh, now from a historical perspective, 85, 90% of the resupply. So the rebellion was totally asphyxiated. Uh, but the problem was not the same. The problem was decolonization at that time. And if we won the, Algeria, the Battle of Algiers, the Battle of Algiers was won te tactically, technically, but was lost was, uh, strategically. Why? Because for the first time that had been used by the FLN, National Liberation Front, Algeria, uh, as a uh, internationalization of the conflict. And it's since the, the Battle of Algiers that the French population discovered that something was wrong in Algeria, that the French army, which has been used for counterterrorism, was using techniques which were not admitted, morally speaking, by the by a, a democracy, the same that the US Army 
the same mission.